Hi, and in this video, we feature a word that actually has a meaning, huzzah. Tension is a term used in music theory to describe the feeling of anticipation in a music piece, which might sound like a bunch of useless words to you, so I'll just play something as an example for you. That build up in the music is tension at work. You can feel that the music is building up to some sort of climax, and that something is going to happen. That is tension. By the way, I've never studied music theory in my life, so what I'm saying might not be textbook accurate, but the concept is there, you should be able to work out what I'm talking about. Tension can occur in songs through repetition, a change in speed, or a change in pitch. Composers utilise tension in their songs to keep their listeners engaged to the song, and so the mapping should also do the same. What isn't nice is to see parts of the music where tension is ignored and the mapping is kept the same, or even worse, is undermapped. I apologise to, um, Sahuang in advance, but the biggest disappointment I've ever felt playing a map is from his rendition of Knife Party's Give It Up. This song hits many of the check marks for making tension, and I'm sure you can hear it too. The rhythm is repetitive, it's increasing in pitch, and the active beats are getting faster. What comes next, however, isn't a nice juicy stream, but instead you get this boring spinner. I don't think there's any need for more explanation as to why I find this disappointing. The build-ups before a key eye are fairly obvious examples of tension being used. You're smart people, I hope. I'm sure you can find plenty of other examples in other songs. Tension, however, is only one side of the coin. Where there's tension, there is also something that's called release. In some songs, you might call it the drop. And it's basically when the music changes to let go of all the tension. If you imagine pulling a spring back to add tension, then releasing a spring lets go of all of that energy. So a good build-up of tension in the map helps to add extra emphasis on the release. Again, the build-up and the drop into a chorus is a pretty obvious example, and you already know how to spot those. However, tension and release can be used in more subtle areas of a song with more frequency. One of the most common patterns in higher level mapping is the triple, which is three circles consecutively placed usually in one form rhythm. Not to be confused with a triplet, which has a completely different meaning in music theory and is usually mapped like this. Digression aside, most of the triples land starting on red ticks and ending on the white ticks, including downbeats. Usually these triples follow background sounds of the music rather than whatever is being prioritised in the song. So why are they getting mapped? I already answered this earlier. Composers put tension into their songs to keep the listener engaged. And these small drum rolls before each beat are just more subtle examples of this tension. They keep you engaged and keep the music fresh to your ears, so a map should also do the same. The constant build-up of tension and release keeps the map fresh for the player. Mapping tension is already straightforward if you're already mapping to the music. Repeated rhythms and dense rhythms that match with the music do just that, and mapping to the subtle build-ups and the tension in the background of a song can help emphasise the main layers. In certain situations, you can map tension by delaying beats or using a lower note density. On most maps, you're going to be playing with a constant stream of notes coming your way, so when there's all of a sudden no note to play, there's a build-up of tension as you anticipate the next note coming. Or... In some cases, not. This is great for keeping the comma section of a song interesting, even if the mapping has gotten less intense. This also works for lower level difficulties, where insane difficulties would normally map tension with triples or streams, easy difficulties can use gaps in the rhythm. Extended 3-4 sliders are also an example of tension, as they work well to emphasise hell beats by delaying the slider tail beat and adding tension with a faster rhythm at the end. You would usually anticipate the slider to end on the red tick, but by delaying it and creating tension, the release adds extra emphasis on the white tick afterwards. So, even though some rhythms either overmap or even undermap the main layer of a song, they help to create tension that's used to add even more emphasis to that main layer. A song is almost never just a single layer, and incorporating those other layers can help to make the main layer that much cooler. Now you can go ahead and be a tension seeker too. 